five format laminators are available in widths between 40 and 80 inches. Most of them are going to come in somewhere in between that. Uh, the Orca here is a 55 and the Seal is a 60. But uh, that's the range, width range, usually between 40 and 80 inches. Uh, they're all going to have at least one set of rollers on them. Um, and they'll be capable of handling flexible materials and rigid materials. So flexible material would be, say, adhesive back vinyl or paper. And uh, rigid might be coroplast, foam, PVC, metal, wood, anything that's uh, hard substrate. So almost all wide format laminators will open the, the gap between the rollers to at least a half an inch and some of them go higher than that. Um, just about every wide format digital printing shop is going to have some type of laminating machine in it and um, we also see them quite a bit in industrial applications. Some of the heavier duty machines are built for shift work. So uh, you can also tell a little bit about a machine sometimes by its model number. So if you see 600, it has 60 in it, that's 60 inch. If you see 400, that might be a 40 inch machine or 62, you get the idea. Uh, the other thing that you can tell by the model number sometimes is the whether or not the rolls are heated. So if it's C, no heat in the roll, that's cold. If it's S, then usually the top roll uh, is heated and sometimes they call that TH. So if the model number has TH in it, that usually means that the top roll is heated. You'll also see D and that's your dual heat machine. Those are going to be the most capable of all the machines and they will do what most people think of when you ask them about laminating is encapsulation. That's where you take two pieces of plastic and seal a document inside. So that's just a little bit about what uh, a, a wide format laminator is in my estimation. In this video series, we're going to break the machines down into their subsystems and uh, make training modules for each subsystem. Those systems are going to be the, the rollers and shafts, the heating system, the roller pressure and lift system, the electrical system, cooling system, the controls, the safety systems, and also we'll talk a little bit about the cabinets and mobility.